I think over the years that we've been working with Oxford Brook students, the placement really has given them an opportunity to feel comfortable in a learning outside the classroom environment. There are other places in the Ashmolean where they could do a placement, you know, so it may be a museum, a gallery, a living farm, you know, all sorts of opportunities. But it's really, it gives the, the students a kind of foot up on the ladder before they actually go out as classroom teachers. They've already begun to feel really comfortable working outside the classroom. That means that when they're out there teaching, they've got that heads up already. They've got a lot of skills in their, in their kit bag and their class are gonna actually be able to engage more readily because of the confidence that they will have gained to come out and really get something out of a museum or other heritage setting visit. The students come and they start to get really inspired and really engaged with objects and paintings as well. And so they can then pass that inspiration and enthusiasm onto their classes in the future. There's such a kind of tingle factor, I suppose, and a wow factor with working with objects and paintings and sculptures that have got such a rich international cultural value. So, for example, one of the objects that we chose a couple of years ago was Guy Fawkes Lantern. It's a really significant object to English history. You know, if, if Guy Fawkes hadn't been caught with that lantern, what might the shape of our country be like today? I think um, when the Brooks students come to us each year, at the beginning of the week, they might be a little bit doubtful. Usually by the end of the week, we somehow manage to persuade them that it's actually quite exciting. And we usually get very strong feedback that, that they've kind of grown in their appreciation of how they could use paintings and objects.